Good evening. Ah, uh, indeed. Times like this one are a rare. First of all, indeed, I am Rafael Sandra, General Secretary for Tobacco and Allied Workers Union of Malawi, formerly known as Tobacco Tenants and Allied Workers Union of Malawi. The name changed. It changed because of circumstances that the employers in tobacco industry did not like the term tenants, but it's real. I'm coming from a country where some of you might not know. It is bordered by Tanzania in the north and Mozambique in the south and to the west, Zambia. When you go into the map, you do locate where Malawi is. And of course, I didn't realize what I was doing in organizing farm workers who in the first place, uh, I would have lost my life. And at that time, when we started organizing tobacco workers, we noted that there were problems. And those problems make us gather the 30 people who decided to go and start organizing. Indeed, the government of Malawi, when we raised the issue of child labor in Malawi, there was no one other than myself who is standing in front of you. I actually approached the government of Malawi to raise awareness that children are suffering, children are not going to school, children are working in the fields. It was sad to note that a five-year-old child was working. And today, I remember that person who left his home deep down South Malawi, whereby he was himself, his wife, and three children, the eldest was nine. They went to Rumpi. When I mention Rumpi, I think there is someone else in here who is coming from the place I'm mentioning. It was uh, Borero side, Mr. Muntari. Do you know Borero? And that person was working there after working for two years. He did not get his pay. Then, the third year, when we were organizing, I met this person. Just fancy, he had a wife, he had children, but all the three years he, was, he had been working at that estate, he got nothing, completely nothing. So it was something like vicious circle. So when I was conducting a meeting at a certain estate, it was noted that someone came closer to me and reported that I'm lucky that you are here. I've been working for three years around here. I'm from Cholo. And I've never been paid. My payment is food. That would not last me a week, seven days. And that person narrated his story. I was deeply touched, and since I knew I was, and I am, the son of a big tenant, my father, who was working at Ndasawgira Estate in Kota Kota, I fell out Peter with him. Then I decided to resolve with him. First of all, I encouraged him to join the union, of which he did. He signed the registration form right away, and we actually took measures on the spot because uh, we had to conduct the meeting at the estate where this person was working. And we started negotiations without collective bargaining agreement with the employer. And uh, we noted on our side as a union saying that, no, this person, we should hear that he's paid. And we devoted and asked him that Whenever you are paying this person, we should be present as a union. 
And indeed, that year, he got something. Do you know how much? It was 5,000 kwacha. When I say 5,000 kwacha, I think if you convert uh, with the current rate today, today it's 400 Malawi kwacha to a dollar. So you can make your arithmetic out there. And that man could not even afford to buy him food, to buy him clothes, and educate his children. And today I'm here, noted by International Labor Rights Forum, for the work we have been doing. We have been an ally to International Labor Rights Forum for quite 10 years. And in those years, though we were working with them, I didn't know that they were noting something in me and possibly in the union, Tobacco Tenants and Allied Workers Union of Malawi. There are several challenges, challenges similar to what our colleagues who are organizing farm workers, tobacco workers, that's the flock are facing in here. When I was listening today, I said, is it true that a civilized country like America, some people are still suffering, like Malawi? I, was, I have been deeply touched. And this is to say, whenever other people are gaining something out of other people who are powerless, who are voiceless, it's very difficult to imagine that their wealth is coming from the people who are suffering day and night. And today, I don't have much to say, I am pleased on behalf of the whole Union Tobacco Tenants and Allied Workers Union of Malawi. I am pleased and filled with joy, but at the very same time, noting that the challenges are there, we are still fighting for collective bargaining agreements with tobacco giants, with subsidiary companies in Malawi, like the Limbelefe Alliance One, whose tobacco is being bought by Philip Morris out here, here in the States. And from 1992 to date, no collective bargaining agreement has been signed with these companies, yet they are the no to no people. I know my time is over, but I needed to share with you this information. And today, I'm so grateful to International Labor Rights Forum for encouraging us, and possibly they have injected some power in me. When I go out there, that law, the Tenants Labor Bill, which was drafted to safeguard the lives of the tenants, now I'm going to resurrect it. I know Minister of Justice uh, has shifted somewhere and it is just gathering dust. Of course, the government has tried to cognize with the employers, the tobacco growers, the tobacco farmers, the tobacco companies, that that bureau should not go through. And instead, they came up with their own bureau, tobacco uh, bureau. And that tobacco bureau, we were not consulted as workers. And as I'm standing now, you have given me power to find out, to work hard so that that bureau should be resurrected in order to protect the rights of these workers. Malawi, in 2002, had 1.4 million children working in Tobago states. 1.4 million, a small country. And at that time, the population was around 12 million. And out of 12 million, 1.4 million children working in the fields. And today, I should think it hasn't dropped because the children have been trained. They go to school, the school of uh, employers who teach them how to uh, narrate the, to underestimate the ages. You can find a small child like that one at this height. When you ask him, he could tell you that I'm 19 years old. 
And when you ask him, ah, when were you born? Say, uh, 1992. And you could imagine that this is a fake a story. These were just a fed, which means those who are benefiting from the children are still finding ways to counter react against us as workers. But now you have given me power. And on behalf of the whole union, I should thank you so much for the gift, for the award you are now giving me in my hand. I promise to work hard and die for the children, for the vulnerable tenants, for the vulnerable smallholders in Malawi until their voice is heard. Thank you so much. Thank you.